with your ammo steel challenge uh, version 1.2.7 it's a new release where they um, added extra graphics to the background and to the targets they also added the ability to adjust the height on the targets so uh, as we go into adjust the height of the targets you click on the stage you can see the graphics changed where it looks more like a steel match challenge where all of these are white except for the red posts uh, for the stop plate where the last version all the plates were white except for the last one which was a red plate so this is more toward how it is an actual match they also with this ability to adjust the uh, target height you can adjust it if you're tall you, you know, if you're looking down on it you can adjust the uh, how it looks on each individual stage if you're tall or short, you can adjust it to how you would be viewing it um, in real life. And as you adjust uh, for each individual stage on how it looks, considering some of these stages are closer and farther, and depending on your height, it can look completely different. You can adjust it to how it looks to you in real life. So let's run through a couple of these stages and see how it looks. Overall, they did some nice changes to the uh, latest release of the Steel Challenge. Um, it does mimic a lot of things that how it looks in the actual match, and it's you know one of the practice tools I, I rotate throughout the week to use. Um, the newer targets does make it a little difficult, or since some of it kind of plays in the background, uh, the targets seem different than the last version, and I think I'm going a little bit slower, but also in the regular matches too sometimes these backgrounds can actually interfere with how it looks so it's closer to real life than it was in the past uh, there's just some adjustment going from the first version to this version that i had to do but over time after doing it a while it starts speeding up more and more so you do get used to it and it's a great training tool if you're into the steel challenge that uh you know Especially during these winter times, you can practice indoors, and by the time spring comes around, you're able to shoot it, and everything seems familiar, and you don't have to, you know, scratch off the rust on you to uh, be able to shoot the stages. Everything just seems familiar, and what you've been practicing them with over the winter. Thanks for watching.